Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been asked to find the Norton's equivalent current as well as the Norton's equivalent resistance for the given network. Now this is a very simple question provided if you understand the question properly. So in this question, first of all, we have been given that the voltage current relationship which is feeding the network N is given by the following graph. So basically, we have been given the voltage current relationship for the source which is feeding this network. That means let's say some voltage source V is connected to this network and due to that some current I is flowing into this network. And for that, the VI characteristic can be given by this following graph. Now this graph is the linear graph, right? So using the expression Y is equal to MX plus C, we can find the relationship between this V and I. That means V is equal to phi i plus 25. And if you want to validate this expression, then just put the value of i is equal to 0. So when the i is equal to 0, then the value of V is equal to 25 volt. And similarly, when V is equal to 0 at that time, you will get the value of current i as minus 5 ampere. So basically, the relationship between this V and i can be represented by this expression. Now let us replace this network N by the Thevenin's equivalent network. So we know that the any network N can be replaced by the Thevenin's equivalent network, which contains the Thevenin's equivalent voltage in series with the Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So if we replace this network N by the Thevenin's equivalent resistance, then the equivalent network will look like this. So here V is this external voltage, while this VTH and the RTH represents the equivalent representation of this network. And here, whenever we apply this voltage V, then the current which is entering this network is equal to I. So if we apply the KVL, then we can write this voltage V is equal to RTH times I plus VTH. And if we compare this expression with the expression of V and I, then we can say that here the value of RTH is equal to 5 ohm while the value of VTH is equal to 25 volt. So from this we can say that for the given network N the Thevenin's equivalent voltage is equal to 25 volt while the Thevenin's equivalent resistance is equal to 5 ohm. And using the source transformation it is possible to convert this Thevenin's equivalent circuit into the Norton's equivalent circuit. So in the Norton's equivalent circuit, the Zn is equal to Zth, while this Norton's equivalent current can be given as Vth divided by Zth. So in this case, it will be equal to 25 volt divided by 5 ohm, that is equal to 5 ampere. That means we can say that the Norton's equivalent resistance is equal to 5 ohm, while the Norton's equivalent current is equal to 5 ampere. That means for the given question, C is the correct answer.